Since 2006, Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey has been the REI division for Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. As one of the largest fertility practices in the U.S., our ART program sees thousands of patients each year, offering fellowship candidates enormous opportunities to gain both clinical and academic experience on a daily basis. The Robert Wood Johnson Medical School REI Fellowship is one of the most unique, hands-on, intense, and comprehensive fellowships anywhere in the U.S. Our fellows have unique access to cutting-edge tools and techniques, multiple opportunities to present research at national meetings and conferences, all the while working day-to-day -day in a collaborative environment. We have high but simple expectations of fellows as we train them to be the leaders of tomorrow, a commitment to excellence in reproductive endocrinology. We invite you to learn more at www.reifellowship.com. Our goal for fellows is that they come through the Robert Wood Johnson training program and leave fully prepared to be the clinical science leaders of the future. To that end, they have to be outstanding clinicians, they have to be superb laboratorians, and they have to have the insights necessary to provide uh, really the best research in our field for the next uh, decade, two or three. Becoming an attending was definitely uh, among the more difficult transitions that I've made um, throughout my medical career. It, I think if I was a fellow applicant today, I, knowing what I know now, I would be uh, in search of a program that had a high clinical volume, um, making sure that um, there are plenty of clinical cases to go around. Um, I also think that um, being in a, in a center that provides sort of the cutting edge uh, embryology aspect, um, it's clearly the future of reproductive medicine is in the IVF laboratory. And I think also looking for a program where fellows are valued as colleagues. In a place that would offer them the most exposure to all aspects of reproductive medicine. So there's several unique things which are you know, one of the, some of the major reasons why I chose to come here, one of which is the embryology experience. I knew that I wanted to have a significant um, role in, in IVF in my research and in my future practice and the opportunity to have hands-on experience, really understand what goes on in the embryology lab, I think has made me a better researcher and a better clinician and prepared me better for my future career. The program here at Robert Wood is unique in that fellows spend an uh, enormous amount of time in the clinical laboratory. They really learn embryology and andrology and finish this program fully qualified to become HCLDs that can direct laboratories. It is something that I was looking forward to from day one, and I think the ability to actually be in the lab, being trained by our lab supervisor, Kathleen Ferry, is really something that's unique to us here. It's been rewarding for us to watch them learn and how excited they are to learn, but what was sort of surprising was how much we've learned from them in, in return. The fellowship training is evolving even more quickly than the field. One of the things that really struck me early on was the desire of everyone here at RMA to constantly examine what we do and to improve upon it. Trying to find better ways to um, achieve uh, patient satisfaction, good clinical results, uh, excellence in research. And that is the philosophy of the program, which is really to continue to grow at every level for every attending, for every physician who's here. I think uh, what sets this fellowship apart is really the idea that the embryology lab is the focus of both the clinical and the research experience for the fellows. The unique skills they have, because they are true embryologists and andrologists, allow them to translate that expertise into the true state-of-the-art research that is driving the future healthcare of reproductive endocrinology. I think that, that uh, the experience at RMA has to be one of the most unique in the world. Uh, for anyone coming here, including fellows. Uh, there's such a strong commitment to research. We have a huge core facility to uh, conduct the research that we want to we wanna do. Um, we have the staff to empower um, and sort of expand ideas and get them done re really quickly. Um, so I think it's an unprecedented experience really anywhere else. The research that we're doing is exciting, new, cutting edge. All the different uh, technologies which are now being integrated into the laboratory and into clinical care are readily available on hard money already within the division and accessible to the fellows each and every day without the necessity of 
waiting for grants without the necessity of hoping that they'll be able to get something through the IRB, IRB in time. I mean, the fellows really are involved in the project from the ground up, writing the IRB, designing the study, discussing strategies for what we want to study and how to answer them. And then once that's been accomplished and we, we start recruiting patients, we get materials to evaluate and we apply the technologies in our molecular biology lab that, that really empower us to answer the questions in a way that nobody else in the world really can. The bottom line is the fellows hit the ground running here and will be involved in meaningful aspects of that research the very first day they start. This was a very successful practice without fellows and it took a lot of resources and commitment to decide to bring in fellows. One of the most unique aspects of this fellowship is that the fellows here are really integrated in the professional milieu of our practice. We consider them as colleagues. On a day-to-day -day basis, my interaction with my co-fellows and the other attendings here have been great. Everyone's been very supportive of me starting and patient with you know the, the early part of learning how to do this job, and so that's been great too. I was the first fellow here, so it was a little bit unknown how I was going to be received, and one of the great things was that I was really treated as a colleague from day one. My greatest joy is spending time with the fellows, uh, and I make myself accessible to them at virtually all times. So one of the things I think are very unique about being here is that Dr. Scott spends so much time with us. That's a learning opportunity in and of itself. He's a great mentor to us. I've done a lot of traveling this year and attended a lot of educational conferences and research presentations and it's been s such an interesting way to meet all of these people all throughout the U.S. Our fellows are typically going to six to eight meetings per year. They can expect an international meeting or two each year, a uh, five to six national meetings. And of course we want them presenting their work at each and every one of those venues. Our current fellows are, are probably three of the most outstanding young physicians that I have ever seen. They are bright and they work extremely hard and they are beloved by the patients and the staff, the laboratorians and the scientists. Uh, we have great expectations for them uh, and they are already exceeding those expectations. One of my goals was to go somewhere that was going to train me to become a good doctor and was really invested in, in me being here since it was going to be another three years of training. We do all that we can to bring them through the process of clinical training, scientific training, and truly everything they need to be an independent investigator. And so my goal is to shepherd them through that process so that someday they can exceed that which is here now and become the true leaders of our field.